Dan, see if you can talk us through Scheider. So, yeah, if we're watching the background of the shot here, we'll see a bit of contact. That uh, looks like it was with Sarah. Oh, no, so a bit of contact with Sarah Zan and then into the side of Le Monnier, and it pushed him onto the inside. And he's come to hit the brakes, and the car's just not there with him. So, uh, He's reverse parked it, if you like. I like, I like the that. Bike. The car is not there with him. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a nice feeling as a driver. No, so he's coming to the corner and he's, you know, he's got nothing he can do. But um, so he be, he would be hoping for a, a bit of a better uh, weekend, I'm sure. Oh, Donovan with a little tap on the wall there as well. Sarazan coming across there. So. Andrew Jordan looked great start on the inside with Sebastian Loeb. In fact, Demuzje got a good start on the outside too, but uh, was there carnage in the background? Larson was out on the loose. Look, he lost out, didn't he? Yeah. But so at the front, a really good fight. So, yeah, and then Loeb getting forced into the Joker, and thankfully for him, he had, you know, Larson and Demuzje follow him in there, so he only really had Oli Bennett's traffic, um, which wasn't ideal for him. Um, but then, obviously, time then lost to Andrew Jordan, but finding the tiniest of gaps at the inside, riding the curbs, getting it... Fully up the inside into turn one, so... Great stuff there. Didn't lose too much time with Andrew Jordan. How much time did he lose behind Oliver Bennett? We're going to find out. There's three races to go. Dan, off the start. Uh, Chenet got pushed out into the gravel, didn't he? Kevin did well there, didn't he? Avoid it behind. Grand Arm unlucky. Nothing really you can do. Yeah, no, they all had a fairly even start there, and they did well to, you know, not have too much carnage. I'm not sure what happened to Chenet there. We just saw him limping around uh, late in the race, so... Uh, it's a yeah, we're all just about to miss it. We're about to see um, Kevin missing the first apex. You know, the ideally you want to clip both curbs through that chicane. Yeah, so. otherwise you have to wait on the throttle lane just that little bit longer. So Kevin Hansen, very nicely done, takes it. And at the minute, it is him who leads Q4. Even start, wasn't it? Hansen with a little nose in the side of Solberg. Balmanis in the background here. Shisha, you great drive. So, yeah, you can see what I mean. He sort of kept himself back out of the way off the line there and put him on the perfect line to pick up, um, you know, the mistakes that people made in, in uh, turn two. Um, so, very close race here with Solberg and uh, Hansen. We see him really sideways on the way out of the joker up there, trying to use as much momentum as he can through the corners, but keeping it very neat and tidy. Hansen, a lot more sideways than we normally see from him here, but... It was good, wasn't it? It was good, but, yeah, <laughs> Petter able to get the overlap on such a short joker lap, so, uh, Solberg good job. takes it. Off the line, then, good start. Liam, Liam didn't quite get the best start there, and then here, look, as Bakarud comes on. In fact, no, it was a contact, wasn't it, from Liam on the inside. Look at this, big save. So, yeah, I think Liam maybe thought he had a bit more room than he did and just caught the back end of Christofferson, and, it, you know, you see it lifted the front of the car up and forced him out, and he had to really throw it sideways to keep it out of the gravel. Extra sideways through the left and the right. Is he managing tyres? Is he saving something for the semis? You'll be able to find out later on today. Johan Christofferson takes the top qualifier spot here in France. That is his fifth TQ in a row, a new record. His 15th in the all-time standings. He's got 15 TQs and 15 wins that season. Was the most successful driver in the history of the World Rallycross Championship, both top qualifiers and wins. He's absolutely destroying it. Says the car's great, everyone else is dreading it, but it's top qualifier for him. Backerud, Ekstrom, so it's Christofferson versus Ekstrom in semi one, and it's Backerud versus Solberg in semi two. So that's great. Audis versus VWs in the two different races. Timmy Hansen, Liam Doran will be on the second row. Kevin Hansen, Timmer's Yarnov. Q8, that's good for Timmer. That might be one of his best results of the year in qualifying. Gronel makes it through as well. Shishrit is through. So is Ericsson. And Sebastian Loeb has scraped it. Look at the back of the field. Unfortunately, that has cost Yanis Baumanis. Here's the man who drops out of the top 12 at the end of Q4.